I'm Master Kennedy's Business Management Systems intern, Tyler Wilhite, and I am Outside KSC, taking you Inside KSC. The interim cryogenic propulsion stage for NASA's Artemis One mission moved into Kennedy's multi-payload processing facility on February 18th to be processed for flight alongside the Orion spacecraft. Both pieces will be fueled and serviced by teams with NASA's Exploration Ground Systems and Jacobs Technology. Technicians have also added the NASA Meatball and European Space Agency logos to the fairings covering the European service module on the Orion spacecraft, representing the strong international partnership for Artemis One. Artemis One will test the Space Launch System rocket and Orion spacecraft, paving the way for future missions to land the first woman and next man on the moon. Scientists with Kennedy's Exploration Research and Technology programs recently prepared containers of plant seeds to fly in space. The containers are part of the Materials International Space Station Experiment, or MISI. The experiment flew to the space station on February 20th aboard Northrop Grumman's Cygnus spacecraft as a payload on the NG-15 commercial resupply mission. More than 10 varieties of plant seeds, including lettuce, radish, tomato, and cauliflower, will be exposed to the space environment for six months in the station's MISI testing facility. Data gathered in space and after the seeds return to Earth will help researchers understand the effect of space radiation on seed quality and storage. The ability to store seeds and grow crops in space will help enable astronauts to undertake long-duration exploration missions beyond low Earth orbit. For more Inside KSE, check us out on social media at nasa.gov.